Good morning. Um, today I'm going to change the fluid in the rear of my 2013 F-150. Um, I have the electronic differential, locking differential, so I uh, don't have to have the uh, friction modifier in it. And also, not to complicate things, but to, you know, uh, upgrade a little bit, I am going to, uh, I'm going to put on a new uh, differential cover that is aluminum and has a fill and drain plug. So future uh, changes of fluid will be much easier than they are right now. So I'm going to do that, how to, why, what, and uh, all the uh, assorted tools. So if you like my uh, content, Please subscribe and like, so I'll keep on trucking with these. Thank you, and here we go. I apologize for the uh, neighbor pressure washing his driveway. Um, here's the new cover I'm going to be putting on. It's from uh, G2 Axle and Gear. There's their web, www.g2axle.com. Again, I paid good American money for this. Uh, I definitely don't get anything for free. Um, that's a part number for the Ford 40 2012 AL. I got the aluminum, I didn't get the black one. Um, it looks like it's pretty good. It came with um, these uh, Allen bolts. Um, I think those are 3 8 And then the, uh, the big ones for the drain are 5 16 and the fill. So. That's those. Um, to take my old cover off, I need half inch, um, half inch, and then I have three quarts of 75, 140, which is what's called for. And again, like I said, if you don't have the electronic rear differential, um, you should put it in uh, friction modifier in accordance with the um, owner's manual, or you may have to find it online. Um, it seems like the owner's manual tells you to take a lot of stuff to the dealer to get it done. So, um, and in, in, also in this package, they sent uh, black RTV silicone gasket maker. So, I have bought some, but I'll use it on something else. So, I'll use theirs. So there we go. Um, oh, and the other thing I need is a drain pan. So I'll go get that, and we'll get rolling. All right, I tried to set it up where you can get the best view, um, and not lock. It. So I got a big drain pan so I can try not to make a mess in my driveway. If my wife doesn't like it when she's the boss. Um, there's a, I think this is the ABS line, but you can just take it off of these pins to get it out of the way. I don't know if you can see that, but we got little like pins that go on. Um, like I said, these are all half inch and uh, so I'm going to start loosening them up and work my way around to get the bottom to break loose eventually. Maybe I need a bigger wrench. And then I got a wood chisel that I use to scrape gaskets, but I'm also going to try and use it to uh, break this away from the break the cover away from the differential. And if that doesn't work, I'll go get a screwdriver. But, uh...
since I left the top ones in, I got a little bit more control over the drain so I don't get it splashing or there we go. And it looks pretty damn clean for 90 some thousand miles so and I uh, got some feedback that you can't really tell by looking at stuff but you know it looks clean to me so uh, we'll just see how much metal I think they got a magnet in here so we can see how much metal is on the magnet once we get it all drained down and get the cover off <laughs> wee wee, you son of a biscuit. I sure hope you guys can hear me over the pressure washer across the street. It's just it was time to do this and got other stuff to do today like vote and shop and get ready for Thanksgiving and so on and so forth. And there you have it. There's a little metal particles in here, but nothing, nothing major. And it looks like the wear pattern on the ring and pinion, on the ring gear seems to be very good too. So maybe that's why it's run it. Let's get the rest of this out of here and then I'll scrape the gasket off. Make sure we got a good clean surface to put the new gasket in on. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, it appears to be pretty damn good. So there you go. And here's what the inside is. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's, that's the inside. Definitely the inside. using a wood chisel because it's nice and hefty and it's got a pretty sharp edge you can just get right underneath this gasketing material RTV and scrape it off all right so went and got a green scrubby pad try and take the rest of this film off of there and then um, I got some carb cleaner I'm gonna use to degrease it and uh, dry it off and then we'll let it sit for a minute and then I'll put some uh, RTV on it and uh, install the cover and then we'll wait about an hour and then they said uh, it'll take an hour to to dry quote and then it's 24 hours a cure so might take a little break go do something else and come back and then uh, put the uh, differential fluid in but uh, I think it's done draining so I'm gonna move the pan slightly out of the way and see if this will work as well as I hope it does and you definitely want to get this as clean as possible so you get a good uh, seal so you don't get a, a leak in your differential cover. And 
If I had a die grinder and a uh, roll lock, I'd probably be better off. But, you know, I, it is what it is. It's what I got. What I'm going to use. Alright, I think I got it clean enough. Back up a little. Hit it one more time with the uh, carburetor cleaner, let that dry off. I think I got everything out in here. And uh, then we'll apply the gasket or the RTV and we'll go from there. Good old black RTV. To do this thing, let it skin, and then I'm going to put the uh, cover on. Let us begin the application of said gasketing RTV. All right, so I got it on there. I'm going to let it sit up for a couple minutes. It says 20, but I'm impatient, and I want to get it up there and on and setting up, and then I can uh, move on to the next thing I got planned for today while I'm waiting for it to cure, and then I will put the uh, 75 four, 140 um, fluid in. This is going to be fun since I only got two hands. I gotta put one up and uh, get her to be made up. So I'll probably make a huge mess. Cause that's how I roll, but we're gonna try to uh, not make too big of a mess. Anyway. 
and we got it started. So I have them all started now. It took a little bit of time, but we got it. Made a little bit of mess, but we uh, moving now. So now I just got to tighten everything up and let it sit for an hour or two before I uh, put fluid back in it. So. So there you go. Now it's just tightening them up. I'm gonna snug them all up and then I'll do a cross pattern of tightening them. If any of you have any suggestions on how to get RTV off of my aluminum case, that'd be great. Since I'm a dumbass and got it on there. Hey, done. All right, so I've waited about two hours. It's dry to the touch. Um, probably not fully cured yet, but uh, it's getting there. So um, take the plugs out. The mailman's here. The mailman's here. All right. So what I think is that this is full and I'm going to use that one to fill it up and then when it comes out the uh, bottom hole I can close it up and I'll be ready to go um Ford says it takes three quarts uh, we'll see what happens got my handy dandy pump okay I'm gonna put the hose in the hole and start pumping. Oh, and one of the good things is it's made in America. It says made in the USA. Well, that's uh, always a positive. Helping somebody keep a job. Almost done with the first quarter. There we go.
Oh, it is perfect. Ran out and the plug needs to go in at the same time. That's incredible. How fortuitous. <laughs> like I planned that. Well, that's good. You know that takes three quarts. Like it said it's supposed to. And we're done. For the most part, got to clean up, but other than that, um, so you saw the whole process. I'm a bumbling idiot, and I was able to do it. Got a little bit of crap on my my new case, though, but other than that, seems to have gone okay. I'm gonna wipe all that off to the best of my ability. Clean up my mess out here in the driveway. And call it a day. <sighs> so, if you're uh, thinking about it, you can see how easy it is. Um, good luck, and if you have any other questions, uh, put them in the comments section, and I'll answer you as soon as I see the uh, comments. So, have a great day.